Hello, hello everyone. Uh, this is Sandra Solomon uh, here again. I hope everyone uh, having a good time and I hope everyone um, feeling safe, especially after uh, the terror attack that happened um, in the uh, UK. Uh, our condolences and our prayer uh, with the UK as well. And we feel uh, that we urge the urge, the need that we uh, stand uh, together we stand uh, united uh, for this uh, for the face of this uh, uh, so-called religion of peace which has nothing to do with peace so uh, now i just wanted to do uh, a little update about my uh, canada tour so far it's going amazing 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 lots of good things happening and um Lots of stuff, uh, uh, lots of things. I'm meeting lots of people. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm talking to you now. I'm in Alberta, Calgary. Um, yesterday we had the rally. It was beautiful. It was powerful. We delivered the message. We had live band. It was amazing. And um, we had we had really good time. It was really powerful rally. I'm so happy and I'm so excited for more to come. And I'm so proud of every true Canadian patriot who stand up and who came out and shared the message with us. And I'm so glad to see many people are coming out across the country. We started with a small number, but now the number is growing again as well. It's not really just about the number. It's the quality of people that we need to deal with the true patriots, true Canadian patriots who's really for Canada. What happened in UK, it can happen in Canada. What's going on in Europe, it will happen in Canada if we don't stop Trudeau, if we don't speak loud enough to shake this country. To let everyone know that we were not going to be quelled. And motion M103 should be trashed to garbage. And we will not submit to Sharia law. We will not submit to Islam. We will not be sitting, doing nothing, and seeing our kids being beat up in school. Or seeing our girls, our women being raped. Or see our men being subjugated. To, hum uh, to humiliate them, drag them to jail, or kill them. We're not going to be stopped. As an ex-Muslim, I keep warning Canadians, wake up. Wake up before it's too late. Wake up. I made my first video from the first day of Ramadan. Go back and watch this video. And whatever I said, it's already happened. And I told you, in Ramadan, the terror attack, it will increase. Because Muslims believe that the heaven is open and the power of Allah is with them to kill more people, to do more terror attack. As what it says in the Quran, I will cast a terror in the heart of unbelievers. And the only fault, our fault, is we don't want to submit to Allah, to Muhammad, to Sharia Allah. This is, this is the only fault. This is the only reason for them to justify their jihadist actors, the terrorist acting, the Islamic terrorist att attacks. Call it for what it is. It's Islamic. It's not just a terrorist attack. It's Islamic terrorist attack. Islamic from Islam, from Quran, led by Muhammad, the founder of Islam, the leader of all terrorists. As an ex-Muslim, I keep warning you and warning you and warning you. And I'm going to keep doing it. I'm doing my tour. We did um, Winnipeg. We did Regina. We did uh, Saskatoon. It was amazing. I met lots of good people. I met lots of good patriots. We got attacked by Antifa. So-called anti-fascists. And they are the fascists. And I really want to apologize for everyone that I'm not going to be doing a live videos uh, outside uh, unless if it's like emergency uh, or for the rallies or the protests or anything because I am keep losing the videos. I'm keeping it now due, uh, through my YouTube channel. And that's uh, as well one of the reasons I wanted to make this video 
please to encourage everyone uh, go to my uh, website voice of sandra solomon go to my youtube channel voice of sandra solomon subscribe and share to today i'm gonna be uploading uh the videos for um calgary rally it was amazing so you get to see beautiful videos beautiful things that we we did it there beautiful people patriots a real true canadians standing for their country and i want to apologize again uh, because uh, I lost so many videos uh, uh, from uh, Facebook uh, I've been blocked from Facebook I've been uh, they, they um, uh, also like uh, blocked me completely you know my account has been cancelled so many times so I cannot I don't trust Facebook anymore and I don't want to deal with it so this is a lot of struggle and I'm losing lots of good videos so therefore now I have my website done I have my YouTube channel uh, I, I got my training how to do the cutting how to do the editing and, and all that stuff I really I want to apologize yesterday we was at the rally and uh, tonight uh, every video is gonna be uploaded uh, if I pull I apologize if um, if there is a little delay, uh, just because I'm busy doing another stuff or another rally or another protest, so I needed the time to sit and do the videos and do the um, editing and do the uploading. So um, if you want to follow me, go to, you, to, go to YouTube channel because I might lose my Facebook account at any time. Anytime they might block me. A few days ago, I was blocked for 24 hours. I couldn't post anything. I couldn't do nothing. And I, I cannot do any video, nothing. So I don't trust uh, Facebook at all. So if you want to follow me, if you're really believing in my cause, if you really uh, want to see what I'm doing, go to YouTube and subscribe to the channel. And so therefore, everything I do new, you're going to receive it right away. And uh, more to come. I'm so uh, proud of a patriot. Uh, his name is Jesse. Uh, today we said we did something really good. Uh, I'm going to start my series, How to Spy on Muslims. Um, Jesse, he wore the burqa. I got him to wear the hijab, the burqa, covering his face, and we went to the mosque. So uh, this is lots and lots and lots of good things. It's going to come a lot of uh, educational video I'm planning to do. Okay, uh, we went to the mosque and I went to the mosque wearing the burqa. I'm going to teach you how to spy on Muslims because we don't want to rely on the government at all. We got to do it ourselves. We got to do it. I encourage everyone to to to, to uh, get to know the mosques in your neighborhood. Uh, get to know what's going on. I'm going to make another uh, videos about it. How to spy on Muslim. Okay, we need to keep our eyes open i'm gonna make another video about it okay uh, it's gonna be on youtube so if you want to follow that uh please go to um go to my youtube channel and uh subscribe and want and share uh i wanna uh before i get going uh with with uh with whatever i want to say i want to thank every 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 patriot who came yesterday to calgary raleigh i want to thank um Compact uh, Coalition, Ryan, your rock. I really, really admire your energy as well. And um, the WACA as well, WCAI, World Coalition Against Islam. That's what we were chanting, World Coalition Against Islam. And the 3% and the Soldier of Odin and uh, the police, the Calgary police was very cooperative. I was so like impressed about it so amazed uh they were very protective and they make sure no one got hurt it was really good and uh we delivered the message i want to thank every individual who came uh to every rally as well in saskatoon uh in regina every patriot every patriot who came and uh, i want a special thank to never again canada uh never again canada as well they've been with me from the beginning and if, if it wasn't for never again i would have not be able to make it uh to this point i really want to thank you again never again canada okay and uh thanks to every individual as well supporting me uh through facebook uh, through coming to the rally uh, through sharing my message through talking to anybody i met so many people they say okay we've been sharing your videos we've been sharing your this is amazing even if you cannot come physically uh, to the rally you can do share the videos go to my youtube channel subscribe and share and post it everywhere post it everywhere therefore uh, the many people will get to watch it again and again i want to apologize with no longer 
uh, videos for the rallies for anything activities all my activities it's gonna be on the YouTube channel on YouTube so if you want to follow it go to the YouTube I don't want to lose videos anymore Facebook is gonna block me at any minute and any day so I don't want to get to that point where I don't want to depend on Facebook alone that's why I got my website done and I got my YouTube channel done so I don't have to bother with this stupid drama with Facebook every time I post something oh you posted something it's not everything is not with Facebook term and condition but yet yet the Facebook are posting all the beheading that the ISIS is doing all the all the freaking stupid uh, videos for, for satanic uh, they come with all these uh, piercing in their face and whatever uh, evil uh, the facebook posting everything stupid but when we talk about the real matter the leer, the real deal when we talk about islam they blocking us and they remove the posts and the whatever whatever they're being so sensitive but they're not sensitive when they see ISIS beheading people or, or girls getting raped or christian getting persecuted or churches being burned down then it's okay for them it's okay for facebook to post this kind of thing but if we're not if we're talking about islam and uh, talking about stupid ideology that came as the, from stupid seventh century from stupid psychopath muhammad the founder of islam the leader of all terrorists they got offended will be offended be offended i said it from the first day of ramadan the terror attack it will never finish actually in ramadan it will increase this is the month of the so-called uh, heaven open and Allah will give the Muslim the jihadist more power to do more terror attack. So this is just the beginning of Ramadan and this is just the beginning. More terrorist attack, it will happen, I promise you. Mark my word. And I said it again and I will repeat it. Especially the night of Al-Qadr. They call it Laylat Al-Qadr. The night of Al-Qadr. It's, it's from the 10th of the Ramadan. Like the last 10 days of Ramadan. One of these nights, they call it Laylat Al-Qadr. That means the night of Al-Qadr. This is the most holiest night in the whole month. It's like the, the heaven is open and Allah is whatever. And all the angels will come and will fight with the jihadists will, uh, to conquer or to, to uh, fight the disbeliever, which is you and me. And the only one, the only one fault, the only one reason for us to be killed is just we don't want to submit to Islam. Really, that's the only reason they're killing us. They're killing the infidels because they don't want to submit. And that's Islam all about submission. Submit. It's Taslim. Submit. It's either you submit, it's either you're gonna be you pay the jizya or you're gonna be killed. That's all about it. That's all about it. Again, if I wanna blame ISIS. Uh, I'm mistaken. I don't want to always blame it to the terrorists. Blame it to the terrorists. Blame it on the Muslims. No. I blame it also equally. As I blame it on Muslims, I blame it on the West. The ignorance. The naive. That who the, he is not uh, listening. Is not working. Is not functioning. Forget the political correctness. No more political correctness. No more so-called, oh, I don't want to offend them. Like, offend them. Offend them. They're killing us. Offend them. It's okay for them to be offended. That's fine. Psychologically, they are psychologically believing that they are victims. And whatever they're doing is justified. And no matter what you do, they're not going to be happy. Because it's in the Quran. The, the Jews and the Christian will never be happy, will never be pleased from Muslims. Until the Muslims, they, believe, they leave Islam and they become one of them. Which is not true. Which is not true. And they believe, according to Quran, okay, Allah supposedly he said, I will cast a terror in the heart of unbelievers. That's it. That's, this is what they want. They want to cast a terror. They enjoy this. They're happy. They are happy rejoicing when they see people are scared, are running on the streets. And there's like, you know, see all these firefighters and the police and ambulance and people running and people screaming. They enjoy seeing this. This is their, you know, like they will bring a, like a popcorn and watch it and be rejoicing and happy and say, Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah. They are laughing. They're happy. They're rejoicing. In their, even if they don't show it from their heart, from their heart, inside their heart, they are happy to see infidels gather, are terrified from Muslims. Mm, we are the Muslims. We need to terrify them. We need to know who's the Muslims. Who's, we are the Muslims. Yeah, we want to kill them. We want to we want to quell them. We want to quell them. 
like Ikra Khalid. Like Ikra Khalid. She want to call us. Who's the terrorist here? Me or her? Who's the terrorist here? Who has the terrorist ment mentality? That who want to quell people? I tell you, think, read, search. She's telling you, no, you cannot read. You cannot say this. You cannot say that. No, I'm sorry. We will say that. We will not going to be quelled. Ikra Khalid. And motion M103 should be trashed to garbage. Because you, Ikra Khalid, you don't represent Canadian. You don't represent Canadian law. You don't represent Canadian value. If you are really a true Canadian, you would not even bother to talk about stupid motion. We will stand against this stupid motion. Yes, Islam is all about terrorism. We're not going to stop saying that. Until the last day of my life. Until the last breath of my life. We were not going to stop. Islam is terrorism. Quran is terrorism. Muhammad is a terrorist. That's it. Again, guys, to finish this video, I just wanted to thank you all true patriots who came out for these rallies, who's, who's there to stand, to help me with everything. Everything. I really want to thank you so much. If it, was, if it wasn't for your help, I would have not be able to do it. All the patriots from all groups. I don't want to miss anybody. Thank you so much. And more to come. Go to my YouTube channel, Voice of Sandra Solomon. Subscribe and share. Because otherwise, I'm not gonna, you're not going to see anything on Facebook. I, for, for, I'm, I'm done with Facebook. I'm done. I'm done. They blocked me many times. They stopped me. I, I, I can't take it anymore. I'm sorry. I got my YouTube channel. I don't need you, Facebook. Okay? Have fun with your Muslims boast. Have fun with your ISIS boast. It's okay to keep the beheading. It's okay to keep the terror. And it's, it's not okay to keep someone who's talking about it, who's addressing the issue. Your politicians need to be out. We need to get Trudeau out. As much as I blame it to Muslims, I blame it to the terrorists, but I blame it to the West more. I blame it on you. Don't blame it on Muslims all the time. Don't blame it on ISIS all the time. ISIS, they're doing what they're being told. They're doing their mission. They're, they are on mission. They are jihadists, they are terrorists, they want to die for Allah, they want to kill for Allah. They are the true follower of Muhammad, the founder of Islam, the leader of all terrorists. So this is done. This is, that's ISIS. That's Islam. That's the true Muslim. So it's your part now. How are you going to stop this? How are you going to stop this? How are you going to stop this stupid terrorism to increasing? It's getting more and more and it will never stop. Until you wake up and take the stand and say it for what it is. It is Islam. It is Islam. That's the problem. Is Islam is the problem. And I challenge every Imam. Every Imam to prove me wrong. Every time I challenge, no one is talking to me. They know that I speak the truth. I have nothing to be afraid of. When you have knowledge, you are powerful more than you think. I want to thank you all. Again, I just want to uh, touch base as well. And uh, during the rally, uh, my next, uh, my next, uh, I'm going is still, the tour is going. We did uh, Saskatoon, we did Regina, we did uh, Winnipeg. And so uh, uh, I did Calgary yesterday and more to come. We're going to be going in Minton. We're going to be going so many cities. And uh, we gonna, I'm going to be going to Vancouver, BC, yay. And after I finish all that, We'll see how I arrange it for the East Coast as well. And the tour just begin. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I'm not done. I'm not done. Until we shake Canada. Canada needs to be shaken for people to wake up. And I don't care about you, Antifa, fascist. You are exactly equal. What's the difference between Antifa and ISIS? Nothing. Nothing. Yesterday they attacked Kevin uh, Johnson, and they uh, the last thing I heard that they cut off his um, cut uh, his ear, and his friend is still in the hospital. That's the last thing I heard. I don't know the whole detail about it. That's you, Antifa. You show your real face. You wanna the 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 you and the Muslims together because you are the same. Your Muhammad was a fascist. Islam is a fascist ideology, and you are so-called anti-fascist. You are the fascist. You are the terrorist. 
Even when you come, you cover your face with the black cloth like ISIS. If you are a true Canadian, you would have show your face. If you are a true patriot, show your face because you know yourself. You're ashamed of your, uh, about yourself. And when you attack, you attack a woman. My friend Julie, Julie, she got attacked in Winnipeg and you, they punch her on the face. That's how you Antifa. You're coming after women, attacking women. But guess what? We're not afraid from you and we will back to Winnipeg. Trust me, we have a big plan. We will be back to Winnipeg, okay? And again, uh, okay, for the rally, I just want to... Uh, remind you again who is going to be with me going with the rallies uh, if you meet with me uh, I'm, I'm selling a t-shirt uh, uh, through the during uh, the rally to help the cause to keep me going because everything I'm not I don't have I'm not working uh, right now all what I'm all what I'm I'm doing like it depends on the help it depends on the uh, whatever help I can get and uh, I'm also selling this t-shirt I support Sandra Solomon again to show you the front and to show you the back we stand on guard we stand on guard for thee i'm selling this t-shirt and i'm selling as well this t-shirt is only 20 bucks just to help me going i need lots of transportation lots of uh, stuff to do and uh, here you go and that's the, the that's the black one i got the black hey people ask me for the black i got it for you this is for men usually like men they like this this is the black and it has only like uh, the logo sandra solomon justice and peace yeah man so here you go and uh, uh, again um, go to if you want to follow my tour if you want to see excitement and lots of things happen and again I'm gonna remind you to uh, uh, to, 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 to follow the YouTube channel because I'm gonna do a series how to spy on Muslims okay how to spy on Muslim uh, today I got one of my one of the Patriot my friend Jesse he wear the burqa and we went to the mosque mm -mm. so lots of lots and lots of excitement and lots and lots of good things happening I'm gonna teach you how to spy on Muslims lots of good things a lots of good videos a lots of good educational videos as well I'm gonna be doing it on YouTube channel so visit my YouTube channel voice of Sandra Solomon and I really really I want to apologize if um, some of the videos uh, like delay a little bit so yesterday uh, today I'm gonna be uploading all the videos uh, from yesterday rally it's gonna be all uploaded tonight uh, I got uh, busy if I'm delay one day or two day maximum I'm not gonna delay more than that so you get to see what happened uh, during uh, the rally as well and I uh, really I want to apologize again because of the fact that I'm not doing uh, anything live feeding whatever when I'm doing the rally because of the stupid Facebook uh, that are blocking us all the time okay and I want to thank you all. I love you all. We all going to keep going. My tour just started. I'm not going to done until I shake Canada, until we do whatever it takes us to get through the out, until many people educated about Islam, until many people know the danger of Islam and uh, uh, that the Canada will not bow for Sharia Allah. We will not bow for Sharia law. We will. Not, I'm not gonna allow this uh, terrorist uh, ideology that came from seventh century to come and uh, trying to quell us and trying to stop us and try to take over the land and our kids. It's gonna pay the price. I'm doing it for every Canadian, every true Canadian. If you're calling yourself a Canadian, you need to stand for this cause. Otherwise, I'm sorry, you're not. You're not. Don't call yourself Canadian. Okay? You don't belong to uh, civilized Western. Uh, a society and that's all about it islam wants to quell and wants to stop and wants the destruction for the western civilization that's it's been founded on the judeo christian value that's that's exactly what they want they want they want to take us back the time machine the islamic time machine it goes backward it doesn't go forward our time machine is different we go forward we invent we think we love life we appreciate freedom, we speak our mind, uh, we appreciate critical thinking, we let the people think, let the people discover, let the people living their life. But Islam is the total opposite. You don't, you cannot talk, you cannot question, you cannot ask, you cannot da-da-da, blah, 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 la, la, la. You need to be quelled, you need to stop. So Islam is the total opposite uh, of uh, anything has to do with the freedom. It dehumanizes people. They are dehumanized. And they still doing the butchering on the street, the killing on the street, and they is doing it. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. 
And the first one who said that, it's Muhammad. That's why I always call Muhammad the leader of all terrorists, because he is the one who started it. And these, the terrorists, so-called terrorists, I call them the true Muslim, are perfect example of Muhammad. Exactly. Copy-paste. Muhammad. Okay? So, stop being naive. Stop being ignorant. Open your mind. Open your eyes. Canadian. Open your mind and your eyes for the danger. And true to got to go, motion M103 should be trashed to garbage. We will stand on guard for thee and more patriots. I need them to be rising up with no fear. We need to stand. We will not going to be quelled. True to got to go, motion M103 should be trashed. Keep going. I'm going to keep posting as well my rallies, my videos. Go to my YouTube channel, voiceofsandrasalaman.com. Keep exposing Islam. God bless you all.